guys what's up my people welcome back to my youtube channel this is maria kidi for those people who are new here yeah, it's very early in the morning but it's not that early it is around um, 9 a.m so as you can see i'm in my farm yeah there is a certain part where i didn't finish applying fertilizer so i was here very early in the morning at uh, 5 a.m i was here finishing up with that part you know actually it was somehow dark you know uh, the sun has not yet come that's why i was not ready to i was not able to record my video while coming to the farm or maybe while applying the fertilizer so actually i'm done i'm very tired i'm very hungry but i want now to head home but before that i think last time i came here when uh, my battery my phone's battery was almost shutting down so i didn't showed where showed well showed well uh, my farm so i think today you should see this farm um I mean the exact farm that I showed uh, last time, not the other one. You know, as I told you, I have uh, three farms, but they are in uh, different places. You know, so when I get to be there, I think as the time goes, I wanna show you all of them. Yeah. Apart from that, I hope you are doing fine, kiddies family. Yeah, we thank God for this far. If this is your first time watching uh, this amazing video, kindly consider subscription, commenting, sharing, and liking, guys, together as one. And remember, we are aiming at uh, 1,000 subscribers, and I know by God's grace, we shall uh, reach there one day. So, actually, this is the correct view of my farm. You can see now my maize have uh, started growing big guys yeah they have started growing big yeah i think the fertilizer has not yet started to work but uh, as the course of uh, next week part one it will uh, start to work uh, because it is raining actually guys so i think they gonna start to grow big and bigger as the time goes yeah so this is the correct view of the farm as you can see <laughs> my legs are, are full of a lot of mud you know as i told you it has been raining so the soil is wet so there is a possibility of uh, using my legs like this i think you're gonna understand since i'm going to shower you know so i want to stand this po at this point oh i was about to fall down and give you the clear view of uh, my farm i think i should uh, kneel down for you to see clearly it's somehow a big farm guys as you can see the maize are somehow shining i thank god and i thank those people who are supporting me uh, either giving me fertilizer or something else thank you so much mom Liz yeah for supporting me in this farm and I know by God's grace I gonna get good harvest uh, if I get good harvest that's a free entry of me getting a uh, good money and if I'll get good money, you know, chasing someone's dream, it requires some money. So, if I will be having money, that's, uh, I think I will now make my dreams true, guys. So, this is the first part. I'm going to show you the second part. Uh, as I told you, for those people who failed to watch that video, I told you that, um, uh, it's a one acre and a half only this part there is another part that is about uh, three quarter an acre there is another part which i can say is a half an acre 
so we are still struggling this is the second part yet so i want to show you another part start from here you can see there is someone actually i was uh as i told you i was finishing up applying some fertilizer so for the fertilizer for the dap fertilizer you can't just apply it and leave it like that you have to cover with some uh, light soil you know like here you can see the fertilizer is here guys i want to show you I don't know where I placed uh, this maze. Let me look for another one so that I can show you. Well, yes, yeah, so the fertilizer is here, guys. I don't know if you can see clearly. Let me take it off so that I can show you. The fertilizer is here if you can see some uh, black things. So you have to cover it with some uh, light soil for it to work well. As you can see the soil is wet and I thank God yeah, so the maize gonna do well this is the correct view of it let me go to the far end so that you can see the whole part of it oh, she failed to cover this So this is another end. They, my maize are really growing, my people. You know, and it seems like they might uh, do well. You know, so keep on praying for me. Keep on praying for my mom, Liz. He supported, she supported me. Tell God to bless her with more and more. Keep on praying for my brother who blessed me with this phone. You know, actually, I was struggling too much, especially when I want to make my own content. Thank you so much, my brother. So, together as Kiddies family, I think we should be praying for those people. And apart from that, let us keep on uh, praying for my subscribers as well. You know, so, no, it's not easy. There is those, those people that watch and don't subscribe. But for those who subscribe, they should be given... Uh, lot of respect yeah but i've realized that uh i've spotted some uh few maize where some pests i don't know if we call them pests have started eating these leaves you know a plant like this so i don't know what to do but I consulted uh, an expert and he told me that uh, fertilizer is the medicine of these uh, things that uh, eat my, my maize. So after applying fertilizer, I think it's gonna rain and uh, the absorption will be at least somehow better and they might uh, migrate, they will easily migrate. So I don't know how sure he is, but I need to put some trust to him since he is an expert. So let me trust there, but uh, if the, I see that the condition persists, I think I should go and buy some pesticides. You know, I had used a lot of money here and I don't want to get a loss. Yeah, so... I must do what I can. Must try and do what I can for me to get a good harvest at least. But actually, apart from that, just uh, leave your comment. How do you see my farm? 
Oh, do you see? My maze, guys. Yeah? How do you see this one? <laughs> For me, I'm somehow proud of it. And I thank God for giving me this chance and for, give me, for giving me a productive mind. You know, it's not easy, actually. It is not easy. So, I think we should go through the whole part of this farm. And uh, we see... how it is guys guys this is what i was telling you about i find one of the maze where it has been attacked by this uh para i think a pest here so i want to show you the type of pest it is inside actually it uh and uh, it attacks the leaves as you can see the top part of the leaves i think it is inside i want to show you the kind of uh, best side it is i don't know if it will run away but, uh, hope you can see it let me do something here is here i think you can see it maybe my camera is not somehow but i trust my new phone it is here guys this one must take it out yes this is the type of uh, the pests that are attacking my maze right now you can see so it really destroy them guys i think you can see the image of this plant over here so well, i don't know what i should do but let me wait as uh, the expert advised me uh, for a while I see if there will be some changes so it is only one at uh, a plant they can't be two at one plant so if I could be able I could uh, choose all the affected maize plants and uh, kill all of them but uh, it's just a somehow not easy task so I don't know what I shall do. I think I should kill it because it's not being fair. I've used a lot of money here and these are this is not fair. I'm burying it here. It should decompose and uh, add fertility. In this maze, guys, it has really affected it. Let's look for another one. I think I should be coming here to, to check every time and then to make sure that the condition does not persist. Since it is raining and I've already applied fertilizer, so I'm expecting to see some changes. These leaves should be changing. If not, I think uh, I should apply pesticides. Yes, my people, I'm back again. So I'm in uh, Sirad town. As you can see, I came here to buy some uh, few things. So as you can see in front of me, there is a boy. This boy is my neighbor actually. So I had promised him I had promised him I will buy him a socks. He does not have his mother and his father as well is a drunkard. So they survive by themselves. Yeah, sometimes. So maybe if a well we shall come and give them food, that's how they survive. So he is schooling with a 
his brother so I came with him here to buy them at least some fair pair of socks so that they can uh, be using actually you know it's they normally go to school very early in the morning and I found that the socks that they use sometimes yeah, it's not in good condition so actually I told them to choose and they chose the socks and the books so I had already bought for them some bo several books so today I'm uh, fulfilling my promise of uh, buying them socks so let me go and see if at all I'll happen to have enough money I wanna as well buy for them some uh, food at least for them to go and eat it's a very market here as you can see there is a lot of noise but uh, let us try Hi, Baguri. Man, to my hand. To my I'm telling him to come and see here if the socks that they normally use is are here. Chagua, I'm telling him to choose the special one. What can you do, Angino? Chio, eh? Chio, hunter. Chino, that's so hunter. Oh. That's a easy as a special you thought. Tampas. Punam Kuboake, back from one deal. Me and Billy Moy. Talk to me of what he went at the let the size. Let the size. Mom. Let the size. Kuba to dog boy. You need to out the garage. You need to out the garage. You need to out the garage. So guys, we are here waiting. Shima, the seller woman has gone to bring another pair of socks since uh, she had only one pair. So she has gone to bring. You know, guys, this life actually. Is, they normally say that everyone has a problem. So sometimes you you just have to fake your smile. But uh, what you are going to ask me is a different thing, you know. Actually, it's not because I am on a video, you know. She, she just called me when I was at the market and asked me about uh, their problem. As I said earlier, I had promised them uh, books, books and uh, socks, so I had already bought them books. How do you have that? That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going this is the boy guys. On his hand he has uh, some panadol. Maybe his young one is sick. So, actually if I could be having much I could uh, buy them some school uniform and maybe shoes but because i do i'm um, hustling sometimes i get sometimes i pay get let me take the small that i have 
and uh, give them maybe soon. I'm gonna buy them uh, something dresses. I will never know tomorrow. Tomorrow is God's plan, and things might change maybe to the incoming hours. So my people, I have to pause my camera since I'm uh, paying by Mpesa, so we shall continue when I will be done. Yes, so guys, I'm done paying the bill. I took uh, two pairs of socks. It's, uh, it cost me around uh, $2 USD and that's uh, 200 Kenyan shillings. So I remained with uh, 100 and 50 so in my mpesa so he told me that they have no food at the moment so i'm going to help him with uh, maybe some uh, several cups of rice and the remaining amount i think i'll buy something for us for my family to eat as well so we are heading somewhere we are heading somewhere to buy that rice. So today is the ma the big market day. It's on. Uh, <laughs> he's telling me to capture him, <laughs> to do with him on the video, but I can't. You know they ma they can tell you that, and you find that they are not serious. At the end of it, they be mad at you. Like yesterday, oh no, the other day that I was uh, making a video on the sugarcane farm, there is a man that uh, asked me to pay him so that he can appear in my video. Just imagine, guys, something like that. So actually, I denied that request because you can't pay someone who you didn't plan even to appear in your video. You had a plan with your video and then you pay that that person for him to speak on your video. What's that? Maybe those are for rich people, but for me as a hustler yet, I've not been uh, a such like condition, guys. <laughs> I'm telling him to be careful on this road since it is a busy road. So, and the motorbikes are passing. I'm on my way. I get up by Yari. I 
Ai, tu vai ser honorador. Tu não usa o cão. Nenhum arengue o moroi. Sabe? Não há outro medo de dor. Tu é um bidão que é. Hã? De corofana. Que arengue o moroi. Aban. So guys, we are finally done. I bought uh, him some rice and uh, all those things that you are buying here. So I want to escort him. As you can see, this is a busy road, so I want to escort him and then leave him to go as I will uh, continue with uh, the task that brought me here. Ah, tell me. You want to cross the road? No, for this road you have to be careful. I am not for No, was no apote. No apote. No acid. So I was asking him if when I leave him here, he'll go and he has told me that. Uh, not stable so I have a uh, to escort him for a while and then that will be all I'm still on my way escorting him I must make sure that he is safe Chemistry here or any worker would you? Oh, you didn't go for the ball. You are still. You are still now to me. Eh? Then what am I going to have? Come 
guys, he's telling me to buy him some mandazi. So, let me check what I have inside my pocket. Ah. Ah, bye. Are you with me? So I've already said bye and I told him to be careful on the road until the time he, he'll reach home. Actually, you know, this is not his first time to come here. He has been coming here to buy food, things like that. I think, uh, guys, you understand the life of you, of uh, young children without uh, their parents. <laughs> he is asking me to give him a shout out but uh, he is not that serious so I was telling that I was saying that I think you understand the life without parents guys. it's not that he does not have parents but uh, his father chased their mother away long time ago and that father of them is very drunkard. He does not care, so they are all alone sometimes. And they have adopted to such conditions. So, actually, guys, let me say that I'm almost deep in the market, and let me pause my camera a bit so that we can be able to do my shopping, and I should see you next time. Yes, guys, I'm back again to terminate this video here. Actually, <clears throat> since uh, I did the market video till now, so I've reached the home and I came here. The kid's home is just here and I came there to confirm if uh, the, the kid had a safe journey, but they are not at home. I wish I could be, I could do a video with the both of them, but uh, by bad luck, I didn't hold them, guys. Let me see, sit here, so that uh, I can uh, talk about something. So uh, this, uh, I think this can uh, bring the end of my video. Maybe one day or maybe another day, but apart from today. I will do a video with them, then you will see them, yeah. But I hope uh, he reached home safely, yes, that's what I hope, because this is not the first time of him going to the market, so actually that's my hope. If this is your first time watching this video, kindly consider subscription for you to be getting some daily vlogs and other amazing video but otherwise guys thank you so much to all my fans as kiddies family thank you for joining this amazing family here yeah together as one and i'll keep on reminding you that we have a target that uh, we must uh, reach it or maybe fulfill it we need 1000 subscribers so Kindly keep on subscribing and keep on sharing. Anyway, I'm so tired. You know, it has been a long time. You no, know, going around the market, it's not easy. Actually, I managed to do my own shopping, though I didn't did with you. You know, it was about to rain. So I had that fear that uh, my phone might be rained on. And yet... I treat it like an egg, guys. <laughs> I don't want even someone to touch it. So that's why I had uh, to keep it fast. But uh, unfortunately, it, it didn't rain. It never rained. So let me say bye. And we shall meet next time in the next uh, video, possibly. Bye. Thank you so much for watching until this end.